Welcome to Most Wanted U.S. Law enforcement is seeking information about the cases you're about to see. These are current unsolved cold cases as of the date of this upload. All cases in this video are connected to the city of Oxnard, California. All information was collected from the Oxnard PD website. The city of Oxnard offers a $10,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of suspect or suspects in homicide cases. Rita Sanders In October of 1981, 24-year-old Rita Sanders was found shot and killed while near the front of her residence, located in the 3000 block of South B Street. Rita had been living with her boyfriend, and they had recently moved to Oxnard from a small town in Arkansas. Rita worked at a local recycling business and was well-liked. Here's the area where the crime occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. Ramiro Lopez In October of 1981, Oxnard police officers were in the area of C Street and Wolf Street when they heard gunshots. The officers began to check the area for the source of the gunshots and any victims. They located 18-year-old Romero Lopez in the driveway of the 100 block of Wolf Street. Lopez had been shot, and this shooting appeared to be connected to a series of assaults from that night. Here's the area where the shooting occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. George Melendez. In January of 1982, 27-year-old George Melendez was found behind Buddy Burger, located at 6th Street and Oxnard Boulevard. Melendez had suffered a stab wound and died. Witnesses stated that Melendez had been to City Center Motel just prior to him being stabbed. Here's the area where the stabbing occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. Darlene Price Williams In June of 1983, 25-year-old Darlene Williams' body was located on the side of the road in the 2700 block of East Colonia Road. It appears that an assault led to her death. Here's the area where the crime occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. Porfirio Castillo in March of 1984, witnesses saw an altercation in the 600 block of South Oxnard Boulevard. During the fight, several gunshots were heard. 37-year-old Castilla had been shot and tried to drive himself to the hospital. Unfortunately, he crashed prior to arriving there. Castillo succumbed to his injuries and died. Here's the area where the shooting occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. Jose Luis Valenzuela In April of 1984, 20-year-old Jose Luis Valenzuela was found by a railroad conductor lying in the railroad tracks in the 200 block of East 5th Street. Valenzuela had been beaten to death. Information showed that Valenzuela was traveling through Oxnard by train 
and was headed to Central California. Here's the area where the crime occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. Manuel Moreno In April of 1984, 22-year-old Manuel Moreno died as a result of being assaulted and stabbed. Just prior to his death, Moreno had been seen at a party in the 1300 block of West Birch Street. Here's the area where the crime occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. Carlos Cisneros In August of 1984, Oxnard police officers located two stabbing victims in the 700 block of South Oxnard Boulevard in the alley. One of the victims was 22-year-old Carlos Cisneros. Carlos was uncooperative with officers about how he was stabbed, but said that Toledo did it. Here's the area where the stabbing occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. Jose Zapian Gonzalez In March of 1984, 32-year-old Jose Zapian Gonzalez's body was found near the area of Pleasant Valley Road and Wolf Road by Ventura County Sheriff's deputies. Detectives determined that Gonzalez had been at a local bar just prior to his death and that he may have been involved in a fistfight prior to his death. Here's the area where the crime occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. David McPherson In November of 1984, 50-year-old David McPherson entered the drive shaft bar located at 200 block of West Wainimi Road. McPherson approached the bar and collapsed. Mr. McPherson had been the victim of a stabbing and died of his injuries. Here is the area where the crime occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. William Lucas In April of 1985, police officers responded to a stabbing victim in the 100 block of Amelia Court. Officers located the victim, 77-year-old William Milton Lucas, deceased inside his residence. Lucas had a prosthetic leg and other medical issues. Here's the area where the crime occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. David Rios in January 1986, Oxnard police officers responded to the 500 block of North Roosevelt Avenue regarding a shots fired call for service. The officers did not locate any involved parties. A short time later, two shooting victims arrived at the hospital. 31-year-old David Rios was uncooperative with officers and would not tell them about the shooting. The second victim was also uncooperative. Rios died as a result of his injuries. 
Here's the area where the shooting occurred. If you think you have any information on this case, please contact the Oxnard Police Department. That does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.